Welcome to our show. You are going to be so informed, transformed, activated, and ratified today. We have a show about miracles and healing and the prophetic voice of God. You stay with us. It's going to be great. Dr. Clarice Fluitt is an accomplished businesswoman and entrepreneur. She has shared the stage with some of the world's most influential pioneers, including Steve Forbes, Larry King, Michael J. Fox, Shaquille O'Neal, and many more. Dr. Clarice is an internationally recognized supernatural life coach. She is a time-proven prophetess with laser-like accuracy. Reports of amazing miracles and healings occur in her meetings. Welcome to Wisdom to Win with Dr. Clarice. Well, I am so glad you're back with us today. We have an incredible show, and you're going to be ignited, excited, and delighted. I just want to start off telling you the goodness of God. In my heart, there is the wonderful explosion of the infallible, inerrant, and awesome Word of God. God is the healer, the deliverer, the mighty God. So I want you to get close to your TV set today and begin to say, I'm going to activate myself. Did you know that the will of God is always creative? God is always creating. But the wonderful thing is that He has put man on earth, redeemed him from the curse, and now we are standing in the stead of Christ. That's what the Word of God says, that the purpose of being redeemed is not just to escape going to hell and going to heaven, the purpose of being redeemed is to manifest the life of Christ. And right now, while you're watching, I want to speak a word that will encourage your faith. The Word of God activates the will of God. So when you and I agree with God, our circumstances and our situations say all this negative, that's, that's facts. But the truth is the Word of God. And I have found it's not just what you pray, but what you say. When you agree with God, I asked the Lord one time in prayer, I said, Lord, the Word of God says, for God's pleasure, I was created. And I said, Lord, if I was made for your pleasure, you need to tell me what makes you happy. And he says, I'm so glad you asked. He said, the only thing that makes me happy is me. And ultimately, I am turning everything into me. Did you know that the motion of deity is always a circle, that what comes from God must come back to God as God, because everything Every seed reproduces its own fruit. It comes for its own kind. So don't be confused about the calling and the election of God. It is an incredible thing. And we who are the sons of God upon the planet are to be carriers of His life, of His joy, of His pleasure. It's the joy of the Lord that gives you strength. So today we are going to learn about some incredible and wonderful ways to appropriate the covenant, the contract of God into our life in regard to healing, deliverance, prosperity, joy, peace. You know, we're people making choices. Now, a decision is not always a conversion, but I am telling you something. Make a decision, because not to decide is a decision. Decide to believe, I'm healed, I'm delivered, I am prosperous, I choose to agree with God. This has changed my life. It's just incredible. Some years back, when my husband and I first began our ministry, oh, we were so excited about this, and God was healing and delivering, and we saw these great great, wonderful signs and wonders people were. Oh, my goodness, I, I just have so many testimonies about the healing power of God. I am sold out about the healing power of God. Well, nothing is more effective than a personal testimony. Now, it's not testing and moaning, but what it is is that I am testifying to the Word of God. The Word of God says, by the stripes Jesus bore, we were healed. And so while we had begun this ministry, we were traveling, I developed a terrible cough, and the cough got worse and worse and worse. It was like in September, and I went through September to January, and then I began to hemorrhage. It was just really, I was losing like maybe a cup, cup and a half of blood every day, and I kept saying, I, th this isn't hell, and I'm not hot. I am not sick. I am not oppressed, suppressed, repressed. I just was saying, saying, saying. But the facts were, I was really, really getting fearful because the signs that I saw were awful. 
and I broke down and went to the doctor in January. And the doctor said, oh my goodness, he says, you have, uh, you, your lungs are so infected. And he says, I'm going to have to m remove one of your lungs and you're never going to be able to speak above a whisper. And he gave me this prognosis. And what had happened is that I, I'd been healed of um, tuberculosis and it had left a scar in my bronchial tubes where they had gotten inflamed. Every time I would inhale or exhale, it would cut the bronchial tubes. And that's why it was bleeding. So that the only way that I could be healed in the natural was to stop breathing. So that was not one of my options. So I wanted to encourage you today, regardless of what the circumstances look, I called my husband and I said, honey, the doctor says I have to go to the hospital and that I have to have my lung removed and, and that I would not be able to sing. And I not. And my husband is so steadfast in his beliefs. Oh my God. He said, honey, he said, you've got two doctors on your case. You've got Dr. Jesus who is approved and knows everything. And you got Dr. Mann. There are two reports. Choose one. And with that word of encouragement, and that's what I want to be to you today, a word of encouragement, when facts just line up and it seems like they are insurmountable, remember that the truth is the word of God. So I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to be able to believe. And so I made a decision. I came home and my husband had been in the real estate business uh, prior to us going full time in the ministry. And he understood, really understood the value of contracts. And he was a notary and he gathered all five of the children. He says, mother has a report that, that she's very sick. And that's just a fact. But the truth is that she's healed, that Jesus healed her. She is already healed. And he says, I want you guys, I'm going to write a contract. And he identified me. He says, Clary's knee fluid, knee brown fluid. That was the full legal name who is the ransom redeemed property of the Lord Jesus Christ is being trespassed on by the defeated devil. And he says, we have come to set our faith in agreement to agree with the word of God. And he wrote it out. He notarized it. He had me sign it, had all the kids sign it. And then he posted it on the refrigerator. And he says, now, every time, every time that you guys go to the refrigerator, say, my mom is healed. Well, that was in January. And on the 15th, oh, I've got to tell you this, that the night he wrote the contract, I began to cough and cough and cough. And I was in the bathroom and there was just blood everywhere. And he was sitting next to me and he had his hand on me and he smiled and he said, honey, thank God you're not sick. He said, if you were sick, I'd be really worried about you. He says, but we've got the doctor. And I want you to know the symptoms just persisted. But what persisted beyond that was the covenant, was the promise, was the reminder that I had to agree with God. The one thing God regards above all things is his word. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the infallible, inerrant word of God remains forever. And I woke up on the 15th of April from January to then, and suddenly a power zoomed through my body and all the soreness left. Oh, y'all, let me tell you something. There's a healer in the house and he lives in your mouth. You've got to choose to agree with God. Say, say what you want. Agree with God. Find a scripture and stand on it. By the stripes Jesus bore, I am healed. I was healed. It is a finished work. I want to encourage you. Whatever your situation is today, I woke up that morning and I just came out of the bed. I could sing again. I could talk again. Rebo Sakata Shinge. I was happy. I'm telling you, I've been singing and shouting ever since then. There's a healer in the house, and that healer lives in your mouth. You've got to choose to agree with God. I am telling you today, there is wisdom to win using the knowledge that you have, that your knowledge, just where you are, use it skillfully and just choose to agree with God. Remember, if you lack wisdom, all you have to do is ask. James tells us in the Word of God, if any man lack wisdom, and that means mankind, all he has to do is ask God and then believe that you've got it. Then you say, well, how does that happen? It just doesn't happen. I remember when I first received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and I was speaking in tongues and I didn't have a flow and all I could say was, but, 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 but. And I kept encouraging myself and I would hear other people speak in tongues and they had a flow and this was so wonderful for them. And I said, Lord, I need a, a, 
I need a language. I can't just go around saying, but, but, but all the time. And he says, well, act like you've got it. And I said, well, I don't want to pretend. And he says, not pretending. If you believe you have it, then act on it. Oh my goodness. I opened my mouth and I said, oh, but, 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 but. I did everything with but, but, but that he could do. So if you have one or two syllables and you say, oh, that's not God. But suddenly I opened my mouth and I began to say, and rivers, rivers. Did you know out of your innermost being, there are rivers, rivers of life and love and joy, and that every river has a mouth and your mouth needs to open up and begin to say with God, I'm the healed, I'm the delivered, I am the prosperous. I can no longer just be bound by circumstances when I am a covenant child of God. Let this be a word of encouragement to you today. You must choose to agree with God. Don't agree with the facts. This was a hard lesson for me to learn. I went through a lot of things, but I'm telling you, stand fast on the Word of God. God takes you from glory to glory. You look at circumstances and say, I'm just walled out. I'm just walled out. I have this terrible sickness. I have this, I have that. It's not a wall at all. It's a call to come up. God wants to take you to a new level. He wants to bring you to a place of reconciling that you are the healed, you are the delivered, you are the prosperous, you are the redeemed. I'm going to be right back with you. Get ready. Renowned motivational speaker, author, and mentor, Dr. Clarice Fluitt wants to inspire you, motivate you, and activate you into great things. It's like having your own personal coach sharing the hidden secrets of success. Go to her website, clarissefluitt.org, to find all the customized mentoring and coaching resources you'll ever need to be equipped and activated to reach all of your highest goals and dreams. You'll find all of her great books there, like Developing Your Limitless Potential. Find out how to really live your dream by activating the power of attainment. Learn to nurture the unfolding of your hidden potential. Get out of your rut, invest in yourself, and see your dreams finally realized. At ClariceFluid.org, find exciting coaching programs just for you, like identify and develop your true identity, recognizing and activating opportunities, and releasing the leadership role in your life. Find free online inspirational videos, real-life success stories, and much more at ClariceFluid.org. Welcome back. I want to talk to you about the prophetic voice of God. I want to speak to you to encourage you. We've been talking about healing. We've been talking about the fact that the things of God become yours by the reason of use. So I want you to know that the, the, the gift of God, the gift of God, it's a gift. The giving of a gift is one thing. The receiving of it is another. So here we have God Almighty that's given us the gift of life, new life, and there is an approach without reproach. I want to encourage you today, tell you that uh, my own personal story, I was reading the Bible and I found the scripture that told me, he that prophesies is of more value to the church than he that just speaks in an unknown tongue. Well, I had received that baptism of the Holy Spirit and I was, oh, I was hungry for God. Do you know, blessed are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness because the Bible says the kingdom of God is not meat nor drink. It's not natural things, but it's righteousness, right standing with God, peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding and not natural peace, but peace in the midst of the crisis that says be calm and joy unspeakable that's full of glory. But you have to pursue. You have to go and find those things. And when I read in the Word, the Word, that the Bible that tells us, teaches us that as believers, as the redeemed of the Lord, that God gives you the invitation to be partakers of these incredible giftings of God. 1 Corinthians in the Bible, in the 12th chapter, it begins to tell you, he says, Now, beloved, I would not have you ignorant of spiritual matters. Now, ignorant is not stupid. It means that I'm inexperienced and, and that uh, I'm not knowledgeable, and that can be cured. Now, I began to read the Bible with new eyes, and, and, and when I got to that scripture that said, 
he who prophesies, who lets the Spirit of God raise up within them is more valuable to the church because it's speaking the Word of God. It's where the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, literally comes into your body, speaks out of your mouth. It's an amazing thing. And I just wanted that so, and, and I didn't know anybody that did that. So I began to pursue, and I, I had known that there was this lady in our community that was, she was supposed to be the real spiritual one. So I made an appointment to go to her. And I said to her, I said, oh, I, I just tell me how to prophesy. I want to know what I have to do. You know, let me tell you something. I have found that it's not what, it's not what you do, it's what you be. If you be, you're going to do. It's kind of like the reason a, a lion roars is because that's his nature. We do what our nature produces. And when we are born of God, we get a new nature. We become a partaker of a divine nature. Well, I didn't know all that. See, we're talking about wisdom to win. You cannot use knowledge that you do not have. But the ability to use the knowledge that you have skillfully will take you to new dimensions. If you'll act on what you have, then God will open doors to show you more and more. So I went to this lady and I told, she says, what is it that you desire? I said, I read in, in the Bible that he who prophesies is more valuable to the kingdom of God, to the body of Christ, than he that just speaks in in the tongue. Now, speaking in tongues is great. It's like a door opener. It's wonderful. It says you edify or build yourself up in your most holy faith. I thank God for that. But I was hungry about this prophetic gift. Oh, my goodness. And the lady smiled at me, one of those all-knowing smiles. She was uh, a mature Christian, and she says, honey, it's he who prophesies. And she says, you know, you are a female, and you're married, and it's for your husband. It's not for you. Now, you know, when you don't have a dog in the race, when you don't have any opinion except, Lord, just teach me. I, I was so amenable. Uh, that means teachable. Amen, able. I was so hungry for God. It was His kingdom, however He wanted to do it. And I thought, why did you put this desire in my heart to prophesy and, and, and then have somebody tell me it's just for, for boys? It's just for males. And I'm listening to our talk, and suddenly something inside of me, we know who it was. It was the Holy Spirit saying, blink, 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 wait a minute, hold on, that's not the way it works. And out of my belly, out of my innermost being, I began to prophesy. You have informed my handmaid incorrectly, for in the spirit there is neither male nor female. Oh, the word of God began. I was so excited. I grabbed that lady and I said, thank you, thank you, thank you, because my heart was to hear truth. And when your heart is to know truth, God Almighty, the good one, is going to lead you in truth. Uh, you know, people... There are traditions that make the Word of God to no effect, but don't worry about heresy. You're going to see some mixture everywhere you go, but God will continue to refine you and define you and to unveil revelation of incredible things. Aren't you ready for incredible things to be manifest in your life? And I believe that when you say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, I believe that's the salvation experience when you just choose to invite him and say, I choose as an act of my faith that, that Jesus, the son of the living God, would simply come into. This is not hard to do. It's not hard to do. We make it hard, but it's not hard. God does the hard part. If your heart is to know God, listen, God put that in you to desire that. Everything in you is saying, I need to know God. Well, I had been religious, but I had not been spiritual. You know, that's the difference. That religion has a tendency to just give you rules. And God says, God forbid that we have dominion over your faith, but we be establishers of your joy. And so, but he brought me step upon step upon step. And so here I am. I had this gift that's released in me, this prophetic gift. And I was so excited. I didn't know how, I didn't know where to go to use it, didn't have any knowledge. But you start and you begin and the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, he's your teacher. And the next thing I know, we were at a prayer meeting and that spirit again, and I could just feel it shaking. Now, listen. Don't think you have to have a feeling to be able to speak the Word of God. You don't have to shake or quake anything. It's just a matter of you choosing to agree with God. Those of you that are hungry for God today, just simply say, baptize me in your spirit. Immerse me and let the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, 
you know, no man can, can be redeemed without the Holy Spirit doing the work. So I'm not saying that you don't have the Holy Spirit, but there's a difference between you having the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit having you. For, because prior to this experience, I had never led anybody to the Lord. I had never taught and spoken in tongues that, that the scripture says that the Holy Spirit has given you tongues, interpretation of tongues, and prophecy. He has given you words of knowledge, words of wisdom, the discerning spirit, the supernatural gift of faith, not the faith in God, but the faith of God that's working. He gives you healing and miracles, and you carry the Holy Ghost will open you up, and as you begin to be desirous, and God, I want that, and then begin to act on it. Those things are so important. I went to this meeting. Oh, it, I was so hungry for God. Every time I'd go, hear that somebody loved Jesus, I was just, that's where I was. And I went to this meeting, and this gentleman comes out, and he was so unusual. And I'm sitting on the front row, and I've got my notebook out, and I'm going to take notes of everything that's going on. And he comes out, and he's going to be with the Lord. His name was Bob Boo. And Bob was the most unusual man, talked about the favor and the grace of God before any of us knew anything about it. And he came out and he had kind of an Ichabod crane hairdo. He had on a plaid jacket and a polka dotted tie and striped breeches. And he came out and he says, hello, 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 you little sweethearts. And I'm writing it down. Hello, 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 little sweethearts. I wanted to learn. And then he began to talk. And this man that's sitting next to me, he was going rah, 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 the whole time. I thought, my goodness, he must have terrible indigestion. And Brother Bob was teaching, and he stopped, and he looked at me, and he said, Honey, sweetheart. And I said, Me? And he said, Cast the devil out of that man. And I said, I, I, I don't know how. I don't know how to do that. He said, Act like you do. The devil, stupid. <laughs> I just turned, and I didn't, I didn't know anything, but I, I acted like I did. And I looked at the man, and I said, in the name of Jesus, anything that's not of God that's in you, it's got to come out. And the man began to cry and fell on the floor and rolled around. Something powerful got out. It's the anointing of God that destroys the yoke. I said, I went in just being a believer. And my husband said, well, how did the meeting go? I said, I think I'm an exorcist. But you know what it is? It's the prophetic voice of God that heals the wounded body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you that you are a man or woman of God that I loose the hunger for God in the midst of you. In the name that is above everything that's got a name, I release to you the power of resurrection life. And you have been chosen for such a time as this. Do not miss this opportunity. Say with your mouth, I choose to agree with God. It's in Jesus' name that we decree, we declare, and proclaim the Word of God. Thank you so much. I'll be back in just a minute. Jesus prayed to God the Father, let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven there is no sickness, lack, demonic attacks, or strife. But how do we begin to obtain heaven on earth? Did you know that God's supernatural kingdom is voice activated? Clarice Fluitt wants to share with you the God-given keys to release God's Word into every situation and circumstance you face. And watch the supernatural kingdom of God begin to operate in your life. What I know I throw and I teach others to do the same thing. The benefit of a great with God is incredible. Get Clarice Fluitt's revelatory brand new book, Experiencing the Power of God's Word, and her two-part audio CD teaching, Activating the Word of God, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Clarice Fluitt's brand new book contains God's toolbox for walking in the supernatural every day. God gave her key nuggets that will empower you to not only believe in God for the impossible, but to see healing and miracles manifest in your everyday life. Through her book, you will receive God's tool box for walking in the supernatural every day. Witness the positive impact that decreeing the Word of God will have upon your life. Learn how to decree God's Word over your life regularly in a way that empowers you to victory over the forces of darkness. Understand how to decree a thing so it will be established. It will not just inform you, but it will transform you through Clarice Fluid's two-part audio CD series, which is exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. You will learn how to activate all of God's promises contained in His 
word for your life. Position yourself to begin to receive creative miracles, including body parts restored, the multiplication of food, divine provision, control of the weather, amazing ideas for success, and even inventions that can revolutionize the world you live in. Clarice includes powerful prayers of impartation on these CDs, including prayers for God's pure supernatural fire, prayers to reverse every curse, prayers to open up the portals of heaven, prayers for avenues of revenue and the entrepreneurial spirit. The feedback that I get is incredible. They're coming out of debt. They're coming out of sickness. They're coming out of loneliness. They are choosing to agree with God. Get Clarice Fluitt's revelatory brand new book, Experiencing the Power of God's Word, and her two-part audio CD teaching, Activating the Word of God, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Available at ClariceFluitt.org. Get ready, Dr. Clarice Fluitt wants you to experience breakthrough like never before in your life. She wants to skyrocket you to success and become a real life champion. She will teach you how champions live differently than most people do and how you can live like a champion and win and create lasting change in your life. Go to her website, clarissefluitt.org and find all the resources and coaching tools you need to be equipped and empowered in reaching all of your highest goals and dreams. You'll find all of her great books there in Think Like like a champion and win. You will learn how to practice being a winner, how to help shape your own destiny, and how to complete what you start. Discover your own personal blueprint and how to experience progressive success. At ClariceFluid.org, you'll find personal one-on-one access to Dr. Clarice's powerful mentoring and coaching programs customized to you and your own area of interest. Be transformed, activated, inspired, and enriched at ClariceFluid.org. Thank you so much for being with us. Now, I want to pray for you. I want to release resurrection life to you. I want to decree, declare, proclaim, and establish. I want you to understand that when we declare the Word of God, when we make the declaration, what you are saying, this is what I'm in possession of. You know, if you come into a country and, and you go to the custom agent, he'll say, what have you got to declare? I am here to tell you that the enemy wants to keep you out of the kingdoms of this world, which have become the kingdoms of our God and of His Christ, you and I have been equipped to carry the Word of God, to carry the power of God. And so you have to make your declaration and say, this is who I am. I am redeemed from the curse of the law of sin and death. I'm a head, not a tail. I'm above and not beneath. And as you begin to believe these things, the power of God raises up in your life. I believe it. So there are those of you right now, there is a man named James. And James, you've had this arthritic condition in your back. It's just so terrible. In the name of Jesus, I smite that thing. And I speak to those that are listening, not just James, but the Word of God is like rain. It falls on the just and the unjust. You choose to agree with God. There there are those right now, that arthritic condition in your back, in your knees, in your joints. Begin to move. Do something you haven't done before. And there are those right now, I speak to that malignant spirit in your colon. I bind it in Jesus' name. The spirit of death that has been on you, I smite it. And I speak as the oracle of God in the authority of the name of Jesus. I speak. I release upon you the joy of the Lord. Begin to believe in life. Begin to activate what's already in the midst of you. You have been chosen for such a time as this. As you watch this program, with Wisdom to win is to agree with God. There are those of you that are making decisions right now. There are those of you that are saying, I choose to agree with God. I choose to embrace wisdom in the midst of my life. We are people making choices and not to choose is a choice. I invite you today. I invite you to agree with God and lay your hands on your body in the authority of the name of Jesus. And be sure to join us next week as we release the power of resurrection life.